Hey fellas, I'm Kirby and you are watching Kirby Q. Today I'm going to be doing a product review, not necessarily of a new rub or sauce, but some ingredients that you can add to your current rubs or sauce is going to help take them to a whole new level, especially if you compete professionally or getting started in the backyard division um, competition. Uh, my friend uh, Jeff Pavekis, I uh, met him over uh, the internet with YouTube and uh, he started off with the pro barbecue guide to competition barbecue this is also in a video format that you can see on his channel but he did that and I had when I wanted to get started in competition barbecue that was a tremendous help a tremendous coach and uh, me getting launched off um, he also recently just released a new rub and like I said some other ingredients that's going to help you um, take your flavor profiles to a whole new level so let's take a look at these new ingredients here are Jeff's steroids that he's offering to take your barbecue profile to a whole nother level this is his rub it's a uh, all-purpose rubs can go on just about anything I've tried it, and for those of you that have tried my chicken rub, I would say uh, to me it has a more savory flavor um, than my chicken rub does. Real, real strong savory flavor to me uh, with the chicken rub. But we're going to try it on some chicken and pork chops. Um, this is is uh, this is the liquid. These are the powder forms of the. Uh, flavor enhancers. One is a, a pecan flavor, one is a cherry, uh, one is, this is the uh, cherry, cherry flavor, this is the uh, cherry flavor, pecan, I believe this is also pecan too, but both of those are really good. Um, I'm gonna do as he prescribed, I'm gonna try these and add in, enhancing some um, I'm just going to use some regular old KC Masterpiece for the sauce and for those I'm going to try them in my chicken rub and of course I'm going to try his uh, rub alone on some chicken and a piece of pork chop. Alright let's get started with testing this product out. Alright I'm going to get a cherry and a pecan flavor enhancers or try now. This is my chicken rub, my Kirby Q chicken rub, and this is my Kirby Q pork rub. Lau suggested that my pork rub need a little something at no hippie barbecue, no problem, Lau. So let's see if this will help uh, take it up another level. Uh, this is the pecan. So what I'm going to Jeff recommends starting off with a teaspoon to every pound or every quart of rub. I'm going to start off with an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of the pecan to my pork rub. And an eighth of it, the cherry, to my chicken rub. Now what I want to do, I want to go ahead and mix this up really well in here. Just going to do a simple taste test now. Like I said, I started off with the eighth. The whole, the whole thing about this is that you as the pit master, you formulate how much of this you need to get your um, rub, your sauce, to what you're looking for. And I, I didn't show it on camera, but I did try these just as they are. Um, this is, both of them are really good, and uh, the, peak, the cherry I really like the best out of, so that's what I'm trying with my chicken rub. And um, when I get to the sauce, I, I'll talk more about these. But um, I'll just show you on camera. Why not? almost look like I'm doing cocaine <laughs> but yeah I want to get a little bit 
and it's a cherry concentrate, a, a cherry concentrate, uh, a cherry powder concentrate is what I'm trying to say. That's really good. Push your mind up. Do y'all remember those little uh, candy packets we used to get when we was a kid? Uh, you had like a grape and cherry, and you had a little candy stick, and you lick the stick and you stick it in and pour it out. Kind of put me a mind of that. Again, the pecan flavor really comes through on this. And I started off with an eight. So let me uh, give this a try. Okay. I think I'm about to go to two weights, make a quarter. So I'm going to go to. Quarter teaspoon, and even though I didn't taste the pork rub, I'm gonna just do the same thing. So I now have a quarter teaspoon of the flavor in here. All right, now that I got both of these to where I want them, to where I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the sauce so stay tuned all right next we're going to use his uh, number one flavor enhancer for the chariot um, when I first tasted this one the first thing that popped in my mind was um, the uh, Thai the Thai chili sauce that you get that's what popped in my mind with that with this um, sauce it's, it has a nice strong cherry flavor and but it also has a lot of heat. The number one has a lot, lot of heat to it. Now the number two, same flavor of, uh, of cherry but there's less heat with it. I got a lot of heat from this one. So what I got here is a cup for the KC Masterpiece original. I'm going to go and put it in my pan. And he recommends one, one to two tablespoons per quart of sauce. So I'm going to start with one. With one. Um, and I think I better start with a half. I think I'm going to start a half a teaspoon. Start a half a teaspoon of the number one. Let's go mix this in and see if I taste that cherry and heat. I get the cherry, so I'm going to go with a one full teaspoon of it. I guess I should have waited because sometimes the heat comes in the back. I'm going to mix it in. Alright. Alright. That seems to be giving me what I'm looking for. Let's go and put this on some meat. Uh, I got some chicken and pork chops. We're going to try this on. So stay tuned while I set up for that. Alright. Over here, I'm going to be using Jeff's rub. Jeff's new rub. His gold line rub. When it, when it counts for everything and barbecue. Gold line. And again, his, uh, I, I didn't mention this at first, but his competition name is give it to God and that's one of the things that uh, attracted me not only to his website I mean to his um, YouTube channel but also to him uh, oftentimes we want to relegate serving God to just being a minister pastor teacher apostle evangelist 
singing in a choir, something like that. But Jeff realized that he had a gift for barbecue, and even in doing cooking barbecue, he could serve God. So at competitions, Jeff holds what's called Cook's Church. At each competition, where the cooks who are there, they can come out and fellowship and get to hear the word, even at a competition. And um, some of you guys may have even seen him on Pitmasters last season. He was in a wild card division. But um, Jeff is, uh, I, I admire his boldness. I admire uh, his stance for Christ. And that's one of the things that I really like about, like about him. Um, this is, like I said, on this side is Jeff's rub. Here, I'm going to be using my chicken rub. And just, in, just so you know, even though I label it chicken rub, you can use it on pork. You can use it on anything, but my preference is on chicken. All right, I got everything seasoned up. I'm going to go ahead and get the um, grill ready and give this time to really let some of the spices um, seep into the meat, pores of the meat. And so the next time you see me, I'll be out at the grill. All right, <clears throat> I'm cooking on the HBT 400 reverse flow smoker today. I'm going to be using my grill section for the uh, for this particular cook. So let's go and put these wings and stuff on. All right, move y'all over just a bit. And now. Uh, All right, here are Jeff's. These are the things and stuff I'm using for Jeff. Here's the finished product, and hindsight being what it is, I probably should have left um, some of this meat without the um, sauce to really let the uh, rub, the enhanced rub, speak for itself. But it is what it is, and we'll just go with it. All right, let's give this a taste test. All right, here we go. This is the chicken with um, Jeff's Gold Line Rub. No sauce. Let's see what we got. I wish you can see the juice dripping. Again, as I said earlier, when I tried it just in the dry rub, I mean dry taste, very savory. Very good on chicken. Very, very good. Mm. The gold line rub, very good. Good on chicken. Let's try this pork chop. Pork chop, season with the gold line rub. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very good rub. Mm. 
as I said, it'll make a great all-purpose rub. Your chicken, your pork, your beef, maybe even your fish. Heck, try it on popcorn. Now we're going to try my enhanced chicken rub with the cherry flavor. And of course the barbecue sauce. Here it is, a piece of chicken. On a piece of chicken. Wow. The cherry sings through. And I'm starting to get some of the heat. Like I said, and there's number one. There's some um, heat. Mmm. And believe it or not, this piece is even kind of blackened because it got it was directly over the heat, so it got the skin got a little extra crispy. <laughs> but that cherry is really singing through on this chicken. And I, now I enhanced just a store bought um, sauce. And it's doing wonders. Now, if it'll do it for this, imagine with your rub that you took your time and effort and blood and sweat and tears to perfect. I can only imagine what it'll do on this chicken. Mmm. Here's the pork pecan rub on it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Pecan works well on the mmm. It comes through, man. Man, that's good. Good gracious. Mmm. Jeff Pavekas. Give the God competition team. You guys are gonna want to try this. I'm serious. For your backyard flavor profiles, I was, and for your competition flavor profiles, if you're looking for an upgrade, I really suggest, I really highly recommend it, whatever my word is worth. But seriously, <clears throat> really good. Jeff, shout out to you. Excellent product, man. Good work. Great work. Love the rub. Love the um, steroids. Everything. I like it. I appreciate it. And I'm not just saying this stuff just for the sake of be saying it. It really did enhance the flavor of both my rubs. My chicken and my pork rub. Alright guys. <clears throat> In closing, I want to say, I want to give a couple of shout outs. I want to shout out to Lyle at No Hippie Barbecue. What's up Lyle? I want to give a shout out to Harry Shingleton, another fellow Virginian who's also in the barbecuing. Hey Harry, check him out. Harry Shingleton, that's the name of his channel. Jason over at GQ Barbecue, another competition barbecue. And this guy got some high quality stuff going on. Maybe one day I'll be able to uh, uh, stand beside him uh, at a competition. Uh, Lumpy Q and Dave's Tiny Kitchen. I'm Shout out to all these guys. I'm going to put the links to those channels down below check them out subscribe to their channels <clears throat> um, anybody that's willing to uh, take the time to let you into their lives and share their passion with you well with the world um, I think the least we can do is show our support for them um, I appreciate the people who initially showed support for me by subbing my channel and helping promote my channel in the beginning i greatly appreciated that and i'm trying to do the same all right guys that's all i have for today again you want to go out go to um jeff's website i'll put the link to everything in the bottom i, I even link to his promo for the store steroids um <clears throat> pro um, barbecue steroids and place an order for that uh, again I'm serious it really did enhance the flavor of my rubs and the flavor of again a store bought sauce um, it, it did it took it to another level so um, give it a try alright God bless y'all have a nice day thank you for watching oh if you like it please subscribe please subscribe please subscribe